so that thing that I did where I trimmed all the bottom leaves and then got rid of all the little watermelon seems to have worked because I have one two three four five and six watermelons and I swear this one I just feel like I'm seeing it for the first time which is funny um so it seems to be working here are some grape tomatoes ripening this tomato plant seems to be struggling and the two tomato plants that I had here and there I moved them over there and the other one is on the other side because they just were getting too much Sun here and it was wilting them I thought they were gonna die so I brought one of the zucchinis and the sweet pea flowers that I had over there and switched them so I think that this pepper may maybe the Carolina Reaper look at this guy this guy was off to such a slow start and now look at it flowers everywhere peppers to be everywhere got my first cucumber so this is the hot cherry peppers that I thought were the Carolina Reaper there's a bunch there's like five three six and then flowers everywhere and then my Anaheim pepper has a bunch and on top a lot of blooms to be my first green green bean these plants are really struggling in here which is shocking because they're in fresh compost and so here's the first bean I'm gonna pick it see if it promotes more growth they taste really good when they're little like this mm, so sweet Here's some cucumber melons. It's the 4th of July, by the way. Those are not gunshots, just firecrackers. I ate one cucumber melon already. I know it's time to pick them when they get just a little bit bigger than this. Look at how big it's gotten. So, yesterday, this watermelon was about this size. And this watermelon was a little smaller last night it rained and this thing like tripled in size overnight it's amazing this little guy is not doing much of anything I might sacrifice it but I'm gonna wait this one's little here's a new guy so they're everywhere man and that's really exciting here's another one so I think now there's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, seven watermelons. The hummingbird feeder doesn't seem to be working. I haven't seen that one hummingbird. Oh, the flower that would have been an eggplant fell off without having produced an eggplant. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, look. A pea which I think is going to have fully formed peas. They're not fully formed, but they're the biggest ones yet. Mmm, it's so delicious though. These are the Anaheim peppers.
And these cherry tomatoes, I mean cherry peppers are, I think, some of the biggest ones that I've grown to date. Oh look, another sweet pea flower. I didn't see it. Pretty. Mmm, it smells so lovely. Oh, mira para allá. My pinwheel ended up here, it was very windy. on this time keeps flying off with the heavy winds I harvested a cuca melon yesterday I'm gonna wait to harvest this one when this one and this one get a little bit bigger oh look another one here this one in here so the plan of having the cuca melons travel down this vine didn't exactly work out what it ended up doing was attaching itself to itself and just going this way that's the empty patch from when I picked the sage from the boiler guy and then he ended up picking some lemon balm from here so all of that emptiness is where he plucked and let me just say there was a lot of ripping and pulling involved and I was horrified and never again will I let anyone pull anything from my garden on their own. In his defense, he wasn't being an asshole. He was just being a brute. So this pepper plant is doing great, but it's only produced one pepper so far. And I've got, oh look, another sweet pea flower. This one's all white. Let's smell it. Oh, that smells lovely. I wonder if these are the high fragrance sweet pea flower varieties. I'm not sure. The elephant ears are getting big. Orange tree is getting taller. The milkweed made it past the fence. My poppies are on their last leg.